Hi everyone, my name is Julie. So today we're heading north to a country that not so many people have heard about. But believe me, the country and its language are well worth the attention. Welcome to the Baltics and welcome to Latvia. The Baltic. What is it exactly? So it's a region located in the northeastern Europe, just near the Baltic Sea. How logical is that? The Baltic is composed out of three small countries. Estonia is above, Lithuania is below, and Latvia is right in the middle. And today we're talking about the language of Latvia, which is the Latvian. The language spoken by roughly 1.7 million people, mostly in this country. And before talking about this rare and unique language, let's explore it. The Latvian language belongs to the Baltic language family, which is composed only of two languages, Latvian and Lithuanian. It is a small language group inside of a huge Indo-European language family. This language family has always fascinated me because it is so varied and dispersed. It is so difficult to believe that languages of India, of Northern Europe and of Roman Empire have something in common. And yet they do, as we can see through this basic vocabulary. And actually the Indo-European connection becomes quite important when we talk about the Baltic languages, because it is said that they have actually retained the most archaic forms of the Indo-European languages. And to reconstruct the Proto-European language, the Baltic languages are used. The first document written in Latvian language is from the 16th century. However, the language itself is of course much older. It is considered that the Eastern Baltic languages has divided from the Proto-Baltic around 5th, 7th century AD. Around 13th, 14th century, the Baltic languages spoken in the territory of modern Latvia have merged to become the Latvian we know today. The Latvian language has left a very interesting heritage. The Dainas is the oral poetry tradition. They have begun to collect and to write down these poems around the 18th, 19th century, but no one really knows how old they are. There are around 1.2 million Dainas, even more and they are included into the UNESCO material heritage. These dainas are used in the everyday life of Latvians still today. It is used in speech, in theater performances or in some kind of celebrations. Latvian people refer to themselves as a poet nation or a singer nation and these dainas compose a very big chunk of the Latvian national identity. So let's see how they read and how they sing this dainas in the... The Latvian uses the Latin-based alphabet, except for the letters Q, W, X and Y and with some diacritics added to the existing letters to correspond to the Latvian sounds like ch, d, ch, l, n, sh, j, and also some added vowels to correspond to the longer equivalents of the shorter vowels like this a and a. Hearing and pronouncing long vowels is very important as changing just one vowel to the longer one can completely alter the meaning of the whole world. Like when you say casas, you get the goats, but when you say casas, you get the wedding. You basically write as you speak, so the reading becomes very straightforward. And many of the languages could take example of that. So the pronunciation is easy. Now let's talk about... The Latvian is an inflecting language. 
meaning that the words actually change forms to correspond to their function in a sentence. Latvian is an SVO language, but because it's an inflected language, the word order can be pretty free. There are six declinations for the nouns and seven cases. Adjectives and numerals also decline in correspondence to the nouns. There are no articles, but instead of that you can express definiteness with the adjectives. The verbs are conjugated too, of course. Uh, they have three conjugations and three tenses, past, present, future. Foreign words actually have to change form a little bit to correspond to the Latvian grammatical system. I'll explain myself. All of the masculine nouns in Latvian language have to end with an S or a SH. And all the feminine nouns have to end with an A or an E. So even if you take a foreign name, for example Robert, it will become Robert, so that you can decline it in different cases. And France becomes Francia and Britney Spears becomes Britney Spears. And you can also see that uh, the words don't conserve their writing, even though they are originally written in Latin script as Latvian. But as the language is phonetic, the writing has to correspond to the Latvian phonetic system. And by the way, as we have started to speak about the words, let's talk about the... Most of the Latvian vocabulary is from the Baltic roots. However, due to the numerous conquests, of course, there are loan words from many various languages. The Germans conquered them, brought some words. The Swedish conquered them, brought some words. The Russians conquered them, brought some words. The Finno-Ergic peoples didn't conquer them, but still brought some words as their neighbors. And nowadays, of course, there are also many new loan words from the English language, but that happens to all of the languages, I guess. What is curious is that in the modern times, the language purism is promoted in the Latvian language. So it is interesting how many international words are so different in Latvian. For example, telephone becomes talrunis and computer is dators. Interestingly enough, uh, Latvian language doesn't have any swear words. When Latvians want to swear, they use the rich resources of the Russian language or lately of the English language. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please leave your comments below. I'm really looking forward to reading them as your remarks really help me to grow and to become better. And it's really important for me, especially on this stage. Um, please subscribe and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.